Hi there, and welcome to The Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams. On Friday, you witnessed a bit of a meltdown. I was actually pretty serious when I said that I thought that was going to be the last Final Wager video I ever made. It was one of those weeks where nothing seemed to be going right, not just in wagers, but in other things. Nothing serious, just all very incremental stuff, and everyone has a breaking point, and I guess I found out where mine was. I want to thank a lot of people who wrote on Facebook walls, who wrote on my blog, on my YouTube comments, who sent me texts, messages, basically every form of communication I could think of, saying, we enjoy what you do, Keith. And, you know, frankly, I enjoy what I do, too. It's a lot of fun, even though it's kind of weird to be videotaping myself every night, doing math, and playing along with Final Jeopardy. It's something that I really get a kick out of, and that it's helped so many people win a lot of money on this show is something I can't overlook. Thank you for reminding me that. There are two people in particular I really want to thank. Andy Saunders, the Jeopardy fan, is first. Behind my back, he collected a bunch of testimonials, tributes, I don't know what you want to call them, about me and about the final wager, and not only the impact it had on the game, but just how much joy or um, maybe cringeworthy moments that I brought to people's lives from time to time. And... Uh, he read those out at the end of his Jeopardy Live panel on Saturday, and that was really touching how many of you contributed to that. Thank you, Andy, and thanks to each of you who said something. Second, I want to thank Katrina, who really bore the brunt of my, uh, I don't know if it was a temper tantrum on Friday, but she was very graceful, and she understood that, you know, it was just a bad day for me. And if I could handle a situation in the future where some random person on the internet criticizes me for something I do in front of 15 million people with half the tact and kindness that she showed, I'll be very happy. So thanks, Katrina. Needless to say, I'm doing a video, so we're back. And uh, we had a good game tonight. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to need this. So, while I put this up, I guess I can talk a little bit about the game. Amanda found that first Dilly Double, I gotta find the holes in this thing, in, uh, in, this, in the Double Jeopardy round, darn it, let's see, this is, I'm gonna talk about cringeworthy moments here, there we go. So Amanda found that first Dilly Double in Double Jeopardy, I'm afraid this is gonna fall off, I don't put it on right. There we go. Found the first daily double in Dull Jeopardy, wagered big, and a fellow went hunting for it, and he knew exactly where it was by the end. There were two $800 clues left, but the musical category had already been revealed to have a daily double, so it was under 80s novels. He went fairly big, and uh, the sad thing is, we don't have a tie heading in the final, which I was really excited about. So, I don't even know what the Final Jeopardy clue is. I paused it right before then, so we'll hear the little clink. This as the category today, the Nobel Physics Prize. Huh. All right. So, let us go back to what I always do and uh, talk about wagers. 22,000, that's going to be 6,000 out of Gordon. So, that means... Amanda could wager up to a thousand on the downside, and Phil could wager up to six hundred. Now Amanda wants to cover a double up by Philip, most likely, and now we're gonna get into some mind games, and I'll tell you why in a second. She might as well just wager everything. So here's the thing. Philip is a math professor. He doesn't need me to tell him what to do. He knows what to do. Is he gonna play smart? By going small and hoping that both Gordon and Amanda bust out? Maybe. Or maybe he'll say, I think Amanda's going to play this coy, and I'm going to try to pass her by going for everything. That's certainly possible. 
I don't think either Philip or Amanda, actually one of them might be a holdover from the previous day, had seen Gordon's uh, 4,500 wager on Friday. So maybe they don't know that he didn't cover last time out. There are some mind games here. Philip goes for the 600 amount. Amanda's going to need 200 to cover him. And then if Philip wants to cover that, that's everything. It wouldn't surprise me if Philip went for that. Gordon, I guess, could also play rather coy. If Amanda goes for this thousand, that's a maximum of four thousand. And uh, final thing we want to do is, it oh, looks like they're playing uh, Amazon Kindle. Oh, no, Echo. We're gonna want to go for zero cover wagers. Four hundred is the difference here. So 400 there, 400 on the downside here to force Philip to get it right. This could be interesting. I don't know what branch of math Philip specializes in, but uh, I imagine he had some help. If he didn't know game theory heading in, he probably just went to the professor next to him and uh, said, what should I do in X, Y, Z situations? Or maybe not, maybe he's winging it. Uh, I guess I could talk a little bit while the commercial is going, or I could fast forward, I don't know. There was a question in trivia about, uh, what was that? Something, some ice pole zebra, or whatever that, I don't know. Whatever that movie was, but it wasn't about Rock Hudson, it was about some other guy who was in Kale's Navy or something like that. Oh, that must have been, uh. What's his name? Ethel Merman's uh, Ernest Borgnine. Yeah, so I went the wrong way on that one since I don't know what Rock Hudson looks like. Well, I guess I do now. Okay. Here's hoping it's a good week. Let's see some Aleve. And let's talk about 1905, the Anus Mirabilis. That's my guess. Category is the Nobel Physics Prize, and here is the proof. A 2013 laureate, this British man wrote a 1954 thesis on problems in the theory of molecular vibrations. Thirty seconds. Good luck. <laughs> Uh, 2013, why would it be so long? Because it wasn't proven until 2012, 2013. Who would have something to do with mo molecules moving in a strange way? Someone who would coin the phrase God particle. And uh, you still have to be alive. I think Higgs is still alive, but 60 years is a long time to wait. The physics man's name, last name begins with the letter... H. That sounds good to me. You were in third place with 10,600. You said, who is Higgs, not Stephen Hawking? You picked the right H. You are correct. And you will add... Okay, you went big. See if that plays with anyone's... Now, let's go to... Mistakes here. Oh. crossed it off. I thought she was going to write down Higgs, but she wrote Hawking instead. And it'll cost her how much? 5,000. She drops to six. Now to Gordon Moffat, our champion. He had 16,000. Did he come up with Higgs? No. Talking also. And it'll cost him 4,000. He'll finish in second place. And so, too, here are the new Jeopardy champions. Yay, there is some justice today, I guess. I don't know what's up with all these 4,000, 5,000 wagers, but uh, the man who made the right wager won the game. And uh, this would not have worked out for him because Gordon was at the top end of this one, which is, I would give it a pink to start with, but I think 4,000 is rather dangerous by itself because Amanda could have wagered 1,000, exactly, bumping her up to 12,000. So, uh, the interesting thing to note here is that Philip, it didn't matter what either of these two did, he was going to win. 
either way. One thing I like to do is if there's something that's bothering me, something very small, like uh, I keep having to go two feet to get to the garbage can when I'm doing work, I'll address that because that little amount of uh, energy that my brain is taking up builds up over a while. And I think part of that is what led to what happened on Friday. Over the course of the week, I had been very frustrated about how slow my computer was. I've had it for four years. It's helped me produce over 600 videos, so it's getting up there. It's done what it needs to do. So over the weekend, I went to the Apple store, bought a brand new computer, and it runs like a dream. Very fast, and I'm hoping that that won't be an issue going forward. So. That's another thing off my mind. I'll talk more about all this at some other point, but for now I'm going to end this video because I think it's 15 minutes long already, but thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me tomorrow right here on The Final Wager.